The community is remembering a teenage girl, a high school student killed in a crash last night on Dixie Highway. Her name is Madeline Trout and she was just 17 years old. The crash happened a few blocks south of the St. Andrews Church Road intersection. Police made an arrest at the scene and we've learned it's not the suspects first run in with the law. Heather Fountaine is reporting live from Dixie Highway where it happened. Heather. Doug, here on Dixie Highway, everyone is considered family. And tonight, this family is mourning the loss of Madeline Trout, including those who tried to save her life just 24 hours ago. We heard someone start yelling, she's not breathing, she's not breathing. We were trying to pull the door open. It's still a little uh, shocking to me. These pictures from a viewer show the damage to the car after a wreck on Dixie Highway. You couldn't even tell what kind of vehicle it was. First responders yanked off the doors and pulled 17 year old Madeline Trout from it before she died at the hospital. The GoFundMe shows Madeline smiling in her cheer uniform. She was a student at Butler High School. Two of my sons went to Butler. It shakes you up. It shakes you up. Alex Brown was inside the auto zone when he heard a loud bang. It sounded like an explosion, like a bomb had went off. Madeline was driving down Dixie Highway past the auto shop when a white pickup truck going the other way swerved into her lane and hit her head on. Didn't get a whole lot of sleep last night. Alex and several more strangers tried to save her life. A young lady had gotten in the back passenger seat and was reaching over her right shoulder and was doing chest compressions. At a nearby business, you can still see the white paint scraped on a pole. Witnesses say it's from when the driver of that white pickup truck crashed into it after hitting Madeline. When he tried to run, witnesses chased after him and police were able to arrest 27 year old Michael DeWitt. He's facing several charges, including murder and driving under the influence of a controlled substance. The LMPD police report said the pickup truck he was driving was stolen and he was also carrying two stolen guns. The arrest slip listed him as a convicted felon. We took a look at his criminal history and just this year, Court documents revealed he's been caught two other times for crimes related to stolen vehicles. Most recently on February 16th, he posted a $5,000 bond on February 24th, less than a week ago. Extreme heartbreak, sadness, uh, it, it, it's just unbelievable. As this community mourns the loss of someone so young, Alex wants Madeline's family to know she wasn't alone. There were people standing around their daughter praying uh, while she was in that car, that uh, my family's heart breaks for them. Tonight, friends and family are going to gather at Butler High School to remember Madeline. And you saw that GoFundMe, more than $10,000 already raised from this family, for this family. For WHAS 11 News, I'm Heather Fountaine.